Hello everyone, I am Juliette, a member of the IGEM team of the Maastricht Science Programme. IGEM stands for International Genetically Engineered Machine and it is a global synthetic biology competition. Once a year, high school and university students from different fields and from all over the world organize in teams to work and collaborate on projects that vary from local sustainable environmental solutions to medical related ideas. The projects use synthetic biology to solve real-life problems by using the tools and technologies of genetic engineering. There are several additional aspects such as public awareness and introduction to synthetic biology. Every year, since 2003, the teams present their projects at the annual conference, the Giant Jamboree, in Boston, Massachusetts, where teams meet each other and the winners are announced. This year, as for everything else, IGEM promises to be a bit particular. Given the circumstances, the Giant Jamboree will be held online this year. So, with our international team from Maastricht University, we want to go digital by posting educational videos on genetics and synthetic biology on this channel. Some videos will present more information about discoveries by famous biologists throughout history, ranging from Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, Gregor Mendel, all the way to Watson and Crick, who cracked the code of DNA with Rosalind Franklin's work. You may also find videos about IGEM practicalities or fun and easy experiments, so stay tuned. Now, let's dive into our topic, synthetic biology. As some of you might already know, it is an area of research aiming at redesigning systems that can be found in nature. That means scientists in synthetic biology can alter the genetic code of cells to create tiny cellular machines to help improve life for everyone. For example, Previous IGEM projects use easily cultured bacteria and added genes to help them eat plastics, while other teams fought all these three parasites. To achieve all this, the adding and removing of genes is required. But what exactly is a gene? Is it that sort of information for chemical arrangements given what we call life? Well, biology might seem a real mess at first sight, but when you look closer, it is actually very well organized. Let's look at living beings and try to better understand their structure. When we talk about animals, we talk about a whole system composed of organs, like the nervous system, the digestive, or the respiratory ones. These different organs are composed of tissues. And finally, these tissues are made of cells, the smallest independent component of what we call life. There is a huge variety of cells depending on the type of organism. As we can imagine, animal and plant cells have many differences. However, even within the same organism, there are many distinct types of cells. Apart from multicellular eukaryotes, there are also unicellular organisms called prokaryotes, such as bacteria. So, even though the cells of an organism can be very different, they all contain the genetic information needed by the organism. This information is contained in the nucleus in the form of deoxyribonucleic acid, more commonly known as DNA. Just like the binary 01 code used in computers, our DNA is a chemical sequence of only four different bases, which encode more than 21,000 genes and many other mysteries. In our next videos, we will present the mechanisms and features of these amazing DNA molecules more in depth. We will also explain how we build biological machines that make cells work together to allow organisms to function as they do or as we desire. We hope you enjoyed this first video and that you're interested to see what's next. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and we'll come back to you.